Good morning, everyone. It's 5th of October here in Sydney, Australia. It's 10 in the morning and it's the day before there for Kevin Martin from New York. Nice to, nice to meet you, Kevin. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, it's actually, more accurately, it's Boston. Boston. Ah, Boston. Sorry. Okay. Yes, I've got to get the, the U.S. states a little bit better. <laughs> Um, yeah, right. but, it's, but it is, but it is Eastern standard. So, Oh, absolutely. We're in the Northeast. We're I'm only a few hours from, from New York. So, <laughs> uh, awesome. And, um, I had the pleasure of, of, of meeting Kevin on the social media handles and LinkedIn and, uh, Kevin, ladies and gentlemen is, uh, very good at what he does in past life regression and hypnotherapy. And he's been a master of his craft for a lot of years. And, and he's very, he's a very good connector, if you will. So if you just tell the audience, Kevin, a little bit about what you do and a bit of a bit, a bit of your experience. Sure, sure. Um, I mean, mindset coach. And what does a mindset coach do? Well, first of all, I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, I help people uh, get breakthrough ceilings. You know, um, ceilings where they're, they're stuck. They haven't been able to get through and make it to that next level in their job, career, even relationships or health. Uh, I've been for the past 15 years, I've been a working as a hypnotherapist and helping people with all sorts of problems. So I bring that into my coaching. Uh, my background is also neuro-linguistic programming, which is my main, my main modality that I that I use to help people break through those ceilings. Now you mentioned, you mentioned um, regression, you know, past life regression. It's not something I do all the time, but it is something that I find, you know, our problems in our present day often go back. They often go back to the zero to eight years old, uh, but sometimes they go back even further. Sometimes they go back into the womb during pregnancy of their birth, biological mother. And then sometimes they go back even further. Um, science has showed us that DNA um, passes memories down from generation to generation. So from your parents, from your grandparents, from their, their parents and their parents. And then there's that other thing which we, we refer to as a, a past life, uh, not an ancestral past life, but a past life that we might have lived uh, or connected with hundreds of years ago. Anything that happened in the past, or how more accurately, your subconscious perceives as of happening in the past could be tied to present day problems. So it's really interesting when I do this kind of thing, this, this regression to different ages and, and past life regression to find that People's problems today, their current problems today, are tied to some something that happened, you know, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, 50 years ago, or 100 years ago, or a couple hundred years ago. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's uh, very, very cool stuff. Very fascinating. I mean, I agree with you. Science has shown, um, in particular, past lives from people, as you said, going back several hundred years ago, you, you may have a child that'd be three, four, five years old and the parents have never explained anything to that child and the child all of a sudden knows a specific location in another country and he remembers or she remembers vividly of how they passed at that moment back then 300 years ago. And yeah. the parents could not have tricked the child because the parents never spoke to the child. And the, the, the child was too young to surf the internet and you're seeing how, how on earth is a child knowing this type of wisdom? And this is, this is shown in evidence countless times and if people realize this all the ancient spiritual texts the religious texts actually had this in it if people read the the text properly reincarnation has always been mentioned in all the ancient religious texts so the reason why a lot of that's been has been emitted out of our teachings is because it's extremely important i believe for us to understand our past lives because as you said we bring forth the cellular memory here in the dna just from, not from our parents grandparents but also hundreds of years ago for a, a past life that might have been totally into another family or dynasty or whatever it may be. So um, uh, it's extremely important the work you're doing, Kevin. And um, uh, yeah, so can you elaborate a little bit more in terms of hundreds of years ago where it's not just ancestral, it's totally in another dimension, another era, another 
family. Yeah, now that's 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 really interesting. By the way, you know, when I first started learning this thing, this phrase, and I think it's a biblical phrase, um, called "sins of the fathers," and uh, or referring to something that happened many, many, many generations ago, still affecting you today. In essence, that that is what I'm finding with some of my clients. So if, if something went wrong or, or they got impacted by something really specific and it's several lifetimes ago, it can still, to a degree, impact us today. Now you were, you were saying, what well, you know, not ancestral, but what about uh, past lives? Now, here's the thing. When I, when I learned this, when I started learning and doing this, I didn't have a belief in past lives or reincarnation or anything like that. But I had, but I had to really settle on the fact that if the client's belief system is such, or even at a subconscious level, their inner, their inner self believes as such, of course, it's as real as anything. It's as real as anything. So I have to respect something that goes back 300, 400, 500 years. And, you know, is there somehow some tie to that lifetime? Did they live that lifetime? I don't know that for sure, but I can probably say via an explanation of quantum mechanics or quantum physics, for instance, we have an energy field. Matter of fact, in the 50s, they originally uh, at some point termed it the matrix, which is how the, the movie, The Matrix came about, right? We have an energy field around us, and that energy field connects to all sorts of other energy fields. Um, you know, universal consciousness, uh, or you know, something like that. But you know, energy connects to every single person in maybe even every single lifetime. So maybe that's maybe that's how we're connecting. I don't know how. Nobody really knows for sure how but there is so much evidence when someone connects to a lifetime at three or four hundred years ago that they can go you know the research can be done and they will find out that they were correct in their description and in everything else so it's it's phenomenal it really is fascinating in terms of quantum mechanics and physics and even quantum entanglement um you know in our discussion from prior in terms of as above, so below, as within, so without. At the cellular level, at the subconscious level, we are all connected. I use acronyms like Triple C, Kevin, Collective Cosmic Consciousness. So I believe mm -hmm. in the ether, these mind thinking, these mind thoughts are contagious. So it's extremely important for one to know themselves even deeper. Hence what I do with, say, like what I do with the ESP code numerology, but also what you do just as importantly of people understanding the past lives because they're bringing in certain attributes, certain um, characteristics if you will from those into this life and if someone doesn't know how to discern between that or correct something that wasn't corrected from prior they, they can may feel a little bit stuck even in this era and and especially now what's going on with the planet and self and people in self-reflection it's a, it's very important for people to work on themselves and the different modalities of what they um, can come across are also extremely important, but it's also very important to come across correct people in their field that have mastered their craft. And I remember when we, when you had the a session with me and we went for the ESP code numerology, just how I'm gonna tie in what you do with your code. So then it can further show people that you are, um, um, uh, the attributes that I'm gonna to explain to you, how it mm -hmm. ties into what you're doing. Um, now, just with your ESP code, Kevin, if you remember, your four number code is five seven three six, and this is all based. On, yeah, yeah, uh, this is all based on the biorhythms, if you will, of your energies. Just like we're talking about at the quantum field and quantum mechanic level. Now, you know, you're a Virgo cusp Libra, so Virgo is the scientific mind, and Libra is the beauty. Now, if your code, if you remember, was the five seven three six, the five is the quick thinker, the seven then contemplates, the three is the childlike wisdom. And the six is like the connector, the responsibility, the messenger, if you will. So at mm -hmm. your higher self number, your subconscious number, you're very good in as you have the arrow of planning, the arrow of intellect to connect what you feel in the ether. So you are getting things in the ether or channeling, if you will, and feeling, okay, this person may be good with this connection. And then getting the puzzle sort of happening, not 
uh, systematically or say mathematically like a puzzle, you're getting it clear cognizance in the ether. So uh, would that explain a little bit how you're doing your modality? Because I've seen it yourself, even with ourselves, we've known each other these last few weeks in terms of how you have the ability to mold the Picasso, if you will. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah, yeah it does. It does. And, then, and I'll give you a little explanation, or at least how I see it. When someone has a, a, uh, an issue that they're dealing with right now in the present, and it goes back, I'll, uh, my first example is it goes back to childhood, three years old. Say, they're, say they've got a phobia of dogs or fear of dogs, and they go back to, to three years old, and they were pulling the ears and stepping on the tail. Now, their parents or some people could have told them, you know, you, when you started this fair, you were pulling the t ears and stepping on a tail. But logically and consciously, they'll, they'll say, well, the, yeah, that makes sense. But subconsciously, that doesn't really work. So they can have that logical, yeah, I, I, this, the, the dog was scared and bit me. But the next time they walk next to a dog, still they got this, this tremor. They, they got this fear. It's because the subconscious didn't get it. It's when they go back subconscious with the subconscious, they go back to regress to there and they and they look at it and say, oh my goodness, no wonder I got bit. The subconscious actually gets this. And right away, the problem goes away like that. The same thing would happen if the problem does go back even further and goes back to another another lifetime. What the, the whole thing is, what can I right here at this age in current time learn from this incident that happened to me a couple of hundred years ago what can i learn and you bring all that learning that maturity and learning to it and all of a sudden the subconscious mind says oh my goodness no wonder that problem was there this wasn't anything that i did and all of a sudden the, the problem resolved as you know you've done um past life regressions before the big thing about it is the learning you take back. And matter of fact, the questions were there. What is it from this lifetime that it is to learn that will help you in the future? And, and that's what past life regressions are all about. Sure, they are a blast to figure out, to, to see the detail of the lifetime that could have been several hundred years ago. I've had people who were... Um, were in castles they were either kings or they were you know working in the castles i've had people that were you know uh, in these shacks in these woods where there was nothing that except for being able to light fires and and do a few things it's just fascinating but there's things for us to learn from that isn't there no uh, very much so and you mentioned also the subconscious mind because i've mentioned this many times in my uh, YouTube videos in relations to the subconscious mind outweighs the conscious mind minimum 10,000 to one. So yeah. certain things have not been corrected. People are still regurgitating the same patterns and they're trying to say, um, keep the facade if you will, but inside they don't. And what happens is sickness prevails. So the mind, see the creator gave us both hemispheres of the mind. So when I even learned speed reading, and I learned mm -hmm. to mind map and I also learned like you have color in the background. It's very good to incorporate color because you're creating both the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Humans as, as a species here have all learned wrong because they've followed wrong dogmas and teachers and allows them to be extremely confused in the mind that they don't know ancient methods that will apply that allow these civilizations to tap into such unbelievable technologies as, as, as humans as a species here now are stuck and they can't penetrate through. So for them to understand the lesson learned from that past life, like you mentioned, they could have been a king or queen or they could have been in the shacks or whatever it may have been. We all have lessons. So uh, uh, the, the beauty is like even with the ESP code numerology, we can bring forth those lessons because the, 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 the code also shows past life. It mm -hmm. shows past life going back and it could also show future life moving forward with the numbers. It's just different sequencing. So uh, people need to work through that because it's like, I believe, peeling onions and emotions rise to a surface. So they have to uh, uh, know how to see those learning experiences that may not be able to overcome and they're still repeating the same patterns. And yeah. 
even more so importantly now, you know, you need to be surrounded about people that really want to help humanity and people that have a strong mind, but not so strong mind. They're not confused because I feel a lot of people, Kevin, are extremely mentally ill from different modalities. And I, I wrote a YouTube video about this in terms of schizophrenia, bipolar, um, uh, narcissism, uh, anxiety, depression. All these elements have been inf infiltrated into human society because they don't know what's really going on on the planet. And looking within and doing sessions like what you're doing uh, it, with uh, mindset and hypnotherapy and, and past life, what have you, is extremely important because people need to live their passion in terms of creating and adding value and be surrounded with like-minded thinking people that truly want to empower humanity because there's, there is a lot of confusion and stupidity amongst people. And this is causing no creativity. When there's no creativity, there's, there's no productivity. And there's no productivity, there's no value added. Um, so, you know, your ability to maneuver, if you will, through not just what you're doing in the mindset, but the ability to tap into the ether as a connector as your last number, you're living your higher self number mm -hmm. is, is very good because you've subconsciously mastered that craft because you have the arrow of planning and the arrow of intellect, you see? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so where can people find out a bit about you, Kevin? Where's... Uh, well, the uh, the people can find out about me on my website at uh, www.pauseeffects.com. That's P-O-S-E-F-F-E-C-T-S. Dot com. Um, if you look me up on Facebook, because I do a Facebook uh, meeting every Tuesday, or Facebook Live every Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, if people in Australia, it's going to be late, late at night, I gather it. Mm. It's called, co by the way, it's called Coffee with Kevin Wood, Coffee with a K. Uh, you can look me up if you look up Kevin Martin in Lowell on Facebook, in Lowell, Massachusetts on Facebook. You will find me, and you. I'll be happy to connect with you. I'll be happy to, to, to answer any questions you have. You can email me uh, through the site. My email is Kevin Martin, Kevin M A R T I N at pauseeffects.com. and yeah, I would be glad to answer any questions any of your viewers have. This stuff is just fascinating. It's it's still. I've been doing this for so many years. And it still fascinates me when someone overcomes something that they've been dealing with 30, 40 years. It fascinates me because I'm fascinated by how the mind and the body work together and how the mind and the subconscious mind works. Now, the subconscious is where I work all the time. And it, even though I know it fairly well and I know that we're never gonna, we're never gonna understand it fully, but it is fascinating how it works and how it how it actually has an impact on us, be it whether we purposely use it that way, or it's just the unintentional stuff that we're, we're seeing and, and doing every day and experiencing and how the subconscious mind says, hey, okay, uh, this is happening to you and I'm going to make this happen for you. And it's just really cool when you, to see that happen time and time and time again. Um, it is very cool because, uh, you know, it's like what I say, why are you here? What are you doing now? How will you get there? People have a, a journey to overcome. <clears throat> and the beauty is we've, our people in your field, Kevin, um, you know, the subconscious mind is extremely powerful. We are, we are bombarded with subliminal messages through TV, radio, and now the internet with social media. And so it's penetrated into the mind that people, have been influenced and they're not tapping into their ability. They've been influenced and tricked in their mind. They're very confused. They don't know how to relate things with certain things and they, they operate at extreme low vibrational levels of stupidity and, and, um, and being idiots. It's, it's, it's a detriment to their own creativity. It's very yes. silly because we are here to rise and ascend as much as we can in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And in this lifetime, we bring forth what, those and not just ancestral, like you said, hundreds of years ago, and you know, in this collective cosmic consciousness, in this ether, there's no time like the present for people to penetrate through and tap into the subconscious mind to create. So again, a great work that you're doing, Kevin. Oh. And is there one final, um, say, 
uh, message to the viewers that you can say in terms of for them to move forward in their life, to benefit in their life? Yeah, um, certainly. Uh, you, you mentioned a couple of times, you know, how, you know, certain people are certain ways. Uh, and you said in their stupidity, I'd like to call it more ignorance, but uh, a lot of people out there don't know that they don't know what they don't know. A lot of people out there don't know that they actually have a choice. They have a choice to feel one way or another. The externals don't really control you. Once they learn that, once they learn that they have the choice, and, and there's methods to learn that, then um, it's really good because you know you have a choice, but it's also the other side of the sword is that you also are responsible. When you know and have that ability to control your own feelings, control your own outcomes, you actually also have that responsibility too. And sometimes it's a little hard thing to, to deal with the responsibility of, well, you know, I'm, got, no, I'm not going to let someone get me down. I, I'm going to switch it. And it, it's so easy when you're, when you don't, you're not in control because then you can always blame something else. When you come into the power of the inner, inner mind of the subconscious and you learn all sorts of things about yourself and your past and all that, then it really turns into your responsibility to take control of your life. And sometimes that's frightening for people. Uh, very well said. Um, and, and you mentioned in terms of uh, not so much, much the control of the life, but also the switching of not allowing external factors. So yeah. very well said, Kevin. And awesome Thank connecting you. with you. I know we're, we're looking to collaborate out in different fields as well, as, along with the hub of different uh, skilled people that have many, many gifts. It's amazing when connecting with people that are unique in their own gifts that everyone can empower humanity. So keep up the awesome work. And um, Thank you. You too. You too, Stanley. Thank you. And uh, we'll definitely be keeping in touch. And to all the viewers out there, again, Kevin Martin, and, and just your website again is Pause Effect. Was Yep, Pause Effects. It's short for positive effects. P-O-S-E-F-F-E-C-T-S. Very well. Com. Excellent. And once again, thank you, Kevin. Right. Good thank evening you. to you and good morning to me. All right. <laughs> Take care. Okay.